We're here at National Harbor, and we're going to show you everything that the harbor has. That's right, this is the central point of Prince George's County, right along the river. The Woodrow Wilson Bridge is behind me. We're going to show you what it means to have this location on top of the Potomac River, and we're going to introduce you to something you probably don't know. We're going to show you all the statues, that's right, I said statues, throughout National Harbor. In addition, we'll show you living and the lifestyle of what it means to be here and live in National Harbor. I'm James Nellis with Moving to Washington, D.C. Like and subscribe today if you want to learn more about living in the DMV. The Chesapeake Journey, that's right, it's an interactive map right here in National Harbor, which takes you from Chesapeake Bay into the Potomac River all the way into D.C. with hidden figures and key insight into our history. Here's what makes it interactive. You'll see these benches that line the entire map where they're gonna ask you questions. Can you find, can you find? This is a great opportunity to truly really enjoy National Harbor and learn more about our nation's history. In front of the veteran statues here commemorating the five branches of the military with the Coast Guard, Army, Marines, Navy, and Air Force. Love seeing our veterans honored in this way. Welcome to the American Way, the boulevard directly off of the plaza at National Harbor. Here with Frederick Douglass, Abraham Lincoln, and George Washington. You can enjoy all the statues here at the American Way and you can even text for your own guided tour where they will walk you through the history of each person. Standing here with Henry Ford, famous for the invention of the assembly line in creating the Model T. In 2014, the Capitol wheel that you see behind me opened up. This is the perfect gondola ride. It's a Ferris wheel where you can get to 180 feet above the Potomac River and see the sights and sounds of DC and the National Harbor. It's a great opportunity to take another view in here at the harbor. The paths of the US and the UK were intertwined during World War II and here we have the representation of Winston Churchill who was the Prime Minister of the UK at that time. Continuing with World War II we have Rosie the Riveter who was a cultural icon for women in the workplace. This statue is brought to life from a photo in 1945 in Times Square of a U.S. Navy sailor and a nurse kissing at the end of the war. Cherry blossom chairs. That's right, you'll find them all throughout the city. There's one right here in National Harbor. And what they did to commemorate the cherry blossom parade and festival is they had local artists design and paint these chairs. It's an amazing adventure to find all the ones throughout the DMV. Boating, water sports, it's a way of life here at National Harbor. The marina is behind me where you can actually dock your boat with an hourly fee. Beyond that, you can launch from National Harbor and go out on kayaks and stand up paddle boards and really enjoy the fact that National Harbor is on the Potomac River. Beyond that, if you're thinking, how do I get here? What does it look like? What about parking? There's a different way that you can actually enjoy public transportation. Here at National Harbor, you can take one of these yellow water taxis that go from Alexandria to here. They even go all the way up to Georgetown. This is a fun way to get a chance to see everything along the Potomac River and especially National Harbor. As you, as you walk along American Way, you'll also find this fun children's play area where they have animals that they can play with and just this open turf that makes it really fun to sit and enjoy the weather and a chance to play. And I think to myself, oh, don't worry, I'm not going to say it, what a wonderful world. That's right, with Louis Armstrong along American Way, who was famous in the mid-1900s. Norma Jean, otherwise known as Marilyn Monroe, that's right, with the famous scene over the vent cover, this is also part of American Way. Holding out is the image where they blur in the lines of art and reality and show you more of what it is to live an everyday life as she has groceries, shopping, and everything else. And more importantly, the question is, what is she thinking about? When you get to National Harbor looking for the statues, make sure you look up. That's right, there are two 4,500 pound stainless steel eagles that sit atop a perch overlooking the National Harbor and Potomac River. Five cast aluminum pieces over 70 feet. You're seeing the Awakening. This is one of my favorite statues at National Harbor. It actually used to be in DC, 
When they formed National Harbor in 2008, the developer bought it and brought it right here so that it could be on the beachfront facing the Potomac and the Woodrow Wilson. This is where children come and play. People enjoy lunches and afternoons together, and it is a fun sculpture to check out. Check out the awakening. And there's even some statues <laughs> that aren't on the map. So this is the well-known plaza here at National Harbor. You'll see the big screen behind me. This is where they put on movies throughout the summer and throughout the year, as well as big games and events. It's fun to see the camaraderie of everybody gathering and enjoying at a live event or something fun on the big TV. National Harbor is also known for its fine dining. You'll see McCormick Schmitz for its great seafood. In addition, you have Rosa Mexicana, which is my favorite tableside guacamole. Don't forget some of the hidden gems. For instance, Walrus, Oyster and Ale House. And we're gonna take you on a driving tour to show you even more of the popular places you can visit from fine dining to grab and go. And for the grab and go, you gotta go with Mason's Lobster Rolls. Not only do they do it with Maine with the mayonnaise, you can also get a Connecticut style with the butter. If you don't know the difference, you gotta check it out. We're walking out with a couple lobster rolls to go. As we drive up the American Way, you're gonna see all the other restaurants that are along this boulevard, and we're gonna to head to Fleet Street. Now, we uh, just passed one National Harbor. When you think National Harbor, it's very compact, meaning you have retail and residential sharing the same block. So everything from one National Harbor to the Fleet Street condos, even uh, the waterfront condos, you have the ability to really live and reside and walk around. It's an amazing walking area uh, that you'll enjoy. Uh, not only that, but it actually has its own nightlife. Uh, and we're going to drive you by some of the bars that are open in the evening. One of the most famous ones that does get a lot of visitors is Bobby McKee's on the left hand side. You're going to see this is a piano bar, a dueling piano bar, something like you'd see in other, other areas and tourist locations and it is a fun place to go. So many people go there for their birthdays. And yes, <laughs> on the left-hand side, <clears throat> this is true, the Cadillac Ranch, you can try to ride a bull. So <laughs> if you're looking to extend uh, your skill sets and you wanna test out a mechanical bull, you can go to the Cadillac Ranch. Straight ahead, you will see the Gaylord National Resort. This is why most people heard or found out, found out about National Harbor is because of the Gaylord Resort Center. Of course, it has gorgeous views overlooking the harbor and the Potomac River. Uh, and it is a vast open convention center where a lot of different industries hold uh, their conventions throughout the year. Now, as we, uh, of course, you have the Hampton Inn, you've, you've got the West Inn. Uh, I would say probably the West Inn and Gaylord are, are what most people book when they come to town. But there's also more economical choices. You can now see there's a departure here from downtown as we go forward. And this is where we go from condo residentials. Now we're gonna go up to townhouses and take a look at those. So you'll have a combination as we get up this hill that overlooks the Potomac, uh, where you have your Potomac overlook, right? And you'll see townhouses. Uh, you even have some with garages as well as condos. Pulte is a national home builder, built out a lot of this community uh, and there's a great opportunity to be walking distance yet get a little bit more for your money it is a lower price when you're not on top of everything and over to the left you're going to see where they have done before circus of Olay, and they they bring a lot of events to national harbor which keeps residents and keeps people excited about being in this specific community and area and as you can see, even some of the garages come with rooftops, so you can really capture the entire view that's here. So on the right is Spirit Park. Uh, this is where people come, park, and enjoy the harbor. Uh, throughout the summer, there'll be fun events. Uh, there's even a huge crab event, a, pick, a crab picking event. And I love that they've continued to, to enhance and bring new things. One of the things you'll see on the right-hand side is they actually have the domes. I love that they brought the domes for winter weather so you can truly enjoy outdoor dining uh, on your right-hand side. Uh, and now we're approaching the plaza uh, and American Way. Uh, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty compact area when we're looking at the harbor. Uh, it's amazing how many people, how many events 
that come to the harbor itself. And, and like I said, not only has a great day life, it's got a fantastic night life. And, and there's plenty of shopping. And, and what would an area be if it didn't have a Starbucks? <laughs> so of course, on the right hand side, uh, you see a Starbucks. That's when you know it's a thriving economy when Starbucks will put a place in at an anchor here. And you can see that's part of uh, the Westin. And there's even art galleries uh, that you'll find as, as you go through National Harbor. Uh, it's just a fun spin. It's a fun area to really experience uh, not only art, uh, cuisine and and everything else here's here's another view of uh, the Gaylord National Resort and you can see it, it's amazing when you go inside and you see the high ceiling heights and the light that that just comes in <clears throat> now one of the interesting things is that along with when if you're driving in along with what we've shown you on Fleet Street water waterfront and all of that you have the outlets that's right <laughs> tanger outlets so if you like to shop this is a wonderful place where you can actually capture great discounts uh, that you can see at the outlet stores without having to drive too far and for our gamblers they no longer have to go to maryland live now they have the mgm casino that's right the famous mgm casino that you've probably been to in vegas now we have it here at National Harbor, just a stone's throw from the waterfront that we just showed you. And on the left, you'll see the beckoning statue. As you enter into the National Harbor, it's this glorious uh, statue that welcomes you into the harbor. And we're gonna turn down here so you can see MGM National Avenue, which of course goes to the casino, as well as to some of the shopping we mentioned earlier. And of course, what makes National Harbor so unique and so easy to get to is it's right off the Woodrow Wilson Bridge, just across the water from Alexandria Old Town. And you can see on the right hand side as we approach the MGM Casino. And what you can see right there, that's all parking. Well, that's amazing to me. And many times the parking uh, fills up. Uh, they do fantastic events here at MGM Casino. Uh, famous acts like Alicia Keys, Bruno Mars, and there's a theater inside the MGM Casino that's one of the best venues to hear live music and attend concerts. We've even seen uh, Jim Gaffigan, one of the comedians, come to town. So they're always bringing talent, just like most casinos, right? They're always bringing famous talent to town to bring more people, more revenue, which helps Prince George's County itself and of course, it helps the MGM. You can see here's all the self-parking, as I mentioned before. Of course, they have valet. It's the MGM Casino. Um, we've held an event before at Diablo's. Diablo's is a, a great uh, Mexican restaurant um, where you can get all of the typical uh, fare. And then this is the, the grand entrance to the MGM Casino, as well as the valet that we mentioned. So if you're looking, now I will say this. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. It's an exorbitant cost. So uh, I think the minimum bid is $25 on a table. Uh, beyond that, the restaurants, if you compare what it is to eat, where we just were at National Harbor versus MGM Casino, probably add, <laughs> adds a significant amount between the two when you're comparing them. And I wanted to show you how close everything was. So we went from National Harbor to now passing by the MGM Casino. And what you're gonna see is over on the right-hand side are the Tanger outlets. And that's really is fun. It brings a lot of business to this local area. And uh, many of the famous outlet stores uh, that most people wanna shop at, right? You've got everything from Skechers to Michael Kors, Under Armour. Uh, there's all kinds of places where you can go and visit and shop for what you need. Uh, when you're thinking the next school year, a lot of people come here to Tanger Outlets to, to get discounts on school shopping. Did I mention that I hate shopping? Um, it is a necessary must. I've got to get better at actually cleaning out wardrobes and getting rid of the things that are that are in the closet. I heard a rule that every time you bring one thing in, you got to let one thing go. So you bring in a new pair of shoes, you got to get rid of an old pair of shoes. Uh, there are many wonderful organizations where you can give. I love that our real estate company has a tie-in and a connection to a lot of the local places where 
they are doing a great job of giving back, giving to the homeless, giving to, to people that, that need or want, desire um, clothing, right? Uh, there's, a, there's a great charity for homeless where they help take them off of the street, and get them employed, and actually give them dress clothes, so suits, things like that. So if you're thinking about donating, there's great opportunities here in Prince George's County and even in D.C. that could easily help and support the local economy and people that are getting back on their feet. And of course, we're here at the Tanger Outlets. You'll see these two big marquees that show you everything that it has. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we did not mention though, Tommy Hilfiger, even an UGG store, uh, Polo, Ralph Lauren, man, that was one of my favorites growing up. Of course, American Eagle. Uh, there's a, a lot of different, even Clark's. I gotta tell you, I love Clark shoes and, and wear them all the time. Uh, and if you're into senses and you, and you love candles, of course, there's even Yankee Candle. So you want to check this out, whether you're a resident or tourist, it's a fun place to come. And as we mentioned the different places to eat, I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention Foca de Chao uh, is a fantastic place. Make sure you come ready to eat. It's one of those all you can eat places where you can really enjoy uh, great meat uh, at that steakhouse. Of course, we've got more of the chains, uh, Silver Diner, uh, there's even a sip and paint. If you don't know about that, that corporate owned, it's a franchise, the Muse Paint and Sip Bar. Uh, it's a fantastic way to enjoy a, a night out with, with friends. And now we brought you back to uh, National Harbors Plaza and the American Way. And if you're looking at National Harbor and you're not sure that you're ready to buy, you can also rent. They have apartments for lease here at the Esplanade. Uh, and beyond that, of course, you have uh, the Fleet Street condos, the waterfront condos as well, and even one National Harbor where you could capture that dream of being able to see the waterfront from your bedroom. At one National Harbor, you get it all. You get the retail, the residential, and the view. There's always a premium when you're thinking about condos. Uh, you can be here at the water with the view pay a higher premium, or you can go onto Fleet Street or further back even at the Overlook and get more for your money. The condos are gonna run anywhere from 500,000 and up, and many times if you have a premier view, you're gonna be north of 800,000. So when you're thinking about what you want, think square footage, think view, and think accessibility, and at National Harbor, you can get all of those.